Hi, I'm Ashira Unger. Welcome back to The Kosher Convert. Today we're concluding our series on Indian food with a salmon dish that's a little spicy, a little sweet, a little sour. I wanted to share this particular dish because it's served cold and that makes it perfect for Shabbos. If you're making a big Indian Shabbat meal, it's a great alternative to gefilte fish. If you're making a regular ordinary Shabbat meal, it's a great alternative to gefilte fish. It's also a great option for Saturday lunch because you make it in advance and let it sit overnight. Here are the ingredients for this dish six tablespoons of lime juice, two tablespoons of fresh ginger, four cloves of garlic, one red chili, and two jalapenos, two and a half teaspoons of coriander, half a teaspoon of turmeric, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, one mango, one onion, a third of a cup red wine vinegar, one teaspoon of sugar, and a quarter cup of cilantro, and of course, our salmon steaks. The first step is to make the marinade for the fish. And so all you have to do is combine the lemon juice with the peppers, ginger, and garlic. And just let that sit for a few minutes while you work on the salmon. Now, I'm using salmon steaks. The reason is because they're a little bit thicker and so they're more substantial and they have the little bit of skin on the side but then you get a nice surface of fish on the top and the bottom. They do come with bones and it's kind of a pain to take out the bones. And I'm gonna show you how to do that but it is a little tricky, and so if you wanna do this with a filet, you can totally do it, but just try to get a thick filet that's really gonna um, have some substance to it. I'm just gonna make a little bit of an incision here and here so it's easier to cut through that skin because that's the hardest part. It's the toughest part of the fish to cut through. Start just pushing your knife down in and it goes really easily and just cut along this back kind of ridge of bone and cartilage there. Okay, now I like to just kind of stick the knife a little bit just to break up and to get in a little bit between the bones here and then also here. That way, if you put a finger here and kind of pull, those bones just come right out. And they are still stuck to this part of the vertebrae and your fish is gonna be practically boneless then. So now you have a nice portion size and just feel, kind of poke down and see if you feel any bones. If there are any bones, they're gonna feel hard and pokey and I could feel something hard here. So when you feel anything, Take either tweezers or pliers and just grab that and pull it out. And it just slides right out. And then turn the fish over. Make sure there are no bones poking on that side. And I feel one here. So again, just slides right out. And at the same time, you can also make sure that there are no scales that were left by the fishmonger. So basically, just put the fish into some kind of a dish and then take the marinade that we made earlier and just spoon it over. You wanna make sure you get it on all of the different sides of the fish. So kind of push it in there, make sure it's all coated. And then I turn them over. Okay, then cover that and put it in the fridge for three to four hours. So begin by heating the oil and add the onion and the mango. And let that cook until the onions are pretty much translucent. So now that the onion is really nice and translucent and you can really see that the mango is soft, we're gonna add the spices. And just work that so the spices can really incorporate in there and let it cook for just a few minutes. Okay, once that's mixed pretty well, and the spices have had a minute to kind of cook a bit. It's gonna be time to add the fish. Okay. So lay them on their side. Okay, once that's been cooking for about five minutes, we're gonna flip the fish. Just be gentle so they don't break.
and let it cook on that side for about five minutes as well. The last step is to add the vinegar, sugar, salt to taste, and cilantro. Okay, once the fish has cooked, turn off the heat and put it in a covered dish in the fridge and let it sit overnight about 24 hours. Okay, so once it sits overnight, this has been sitting for about 24 hours, this is what you end up with. And I kept all of those lovely bits of onion and pepper and mango and all of that good stuff. And you could just serve this plain on a plate, but I think it's nicest to serve it on a bed of lettuce. And you can even sprinkle it just to garnish with a little bit of cilantro. So this concludes our series on Indian food. I hope if you love Indian food already that this has given you the tools to try to make it at home. And if you've never tried it, I hope that it inspires you to go ahead and try something new. As always, recipes and other information will be on our website, thekosherconvert.com, and you can always find us at our Facebook page. The Tanavon.